So next moving on to the next section that is the purchase return in the transaction section. So just can take the type and here you can see the return number that is specific return numbers will be there and the cash or party just can select if it's any party you can select that and here you can see the current date and currency you can set if multiple currency is enabled you can fully you can just give that and purchase account you can just do and what you can do is a purchase return you can do against purchase invoice or not applicable case and here I'm just selecting the voucher type as purchase invoice and under that a specific invoice number of that purchase will be this invoice number okay so invoice number against the purchase and you can see the product details under that and uh, this tax name is if any tax is there for the specific product or anything you can just see the tax and then you can see the specific discount also can be given to the specific product and the total bill amount and then you can see the grant out as well and tax will be will be only if the voucher and product has tax and after giving the bill discount you can just can save it and just move on to the next If you want to remove any current row you just can select it and just press remove button and print after save option is if it's enabled you can just print after saving that so it saves successfully and just uh, exit that and you can go to the next thing it's just exiting out the current form and just going to the register portion so just select register and just uh, take the purchase return register so here you can see all the details which have already entered in the purchase return. You can see one by one according to the voucher number. And on the left side voucher number is the voucher number of this and the invoice number is the invoice number against the purchase. And here you can just set the voucher type. You can just search according to the voucher type, invoice number, anything or the party. Here you can do the updation. Just double click on this thing and just update it and save it. And if you want to clear anything, you just can clear selecting that. And if you want to delete something, you just can select and delete. If you want to give any discount for a specific thing, you can just select the invoice and just uh, just give the bill amount. So you can be discounted rate will be coming in the grant also. If you want to do any updation, just do the updation and just press update button. So it will be updated. If you want to see all the details, just press view details. You can see all the details which are in the purchase return register.